Disassembly and identification of a three-phase induction motor. Use a one-quarter inch nut driver to remove the junction box cover. There is one screw in the top of the cover that secures it to the junction box. Use the one quarter inch nut driver to remove the junction box. There are two screws that secure junction box to the motor housing. Use the one quarter inch nut driver to remove the motor's external fan shroud. There are three screws that secure the shroud to the motor end cap. Remove the motor's external fan by pulling evenly with both hands. Do not pry. Some manufacturers secure the fan to the shaft with a snap ring. Remove with exterior snap ring pliers if present. Use the 5 16 inch nut driver to remove the bolts that hold the end caps to the motor housing. There are four nuts that have to be removed. Slide the bolts out after the nuts are removed. If needed, use a 3 8 inch nut driver to prevent the bolt from rotating as you loosen the nut. Once all four bolts have been removed, turn the motor over and locate the notches in the motor housing. Here are the notches. Use a flat screwdriver or a small pry bar to separate the drive-in cap from the motor housing. A second prying device may be needed to work the end cap loose, especially on a motor that has never previously been disassembled. The shaft with all attached components should slide out with the drive-in cap. Remove the non-drive-in cap. Remove the drive-in cap from the motor shaft. A soft-faced hammer may be necessary. Use caution when tapping on the cap as it is cast aluminum and can be brittle.
Fan shroud. External fan. Non-drive end cap. Junction box. Junction box cover. Assembly bolts. Stator. Stator windings. Stator winding leads. Drive end cap. Rotor. Bearings. Internal fan. Motor shaft. Thanks for watching. Visit industrialmaintenancetraining.com for more resources and connect with our customer service team anytime at sales at mstservices.net. We look forward to helping you succeed.